See? Now I left my defibrillator at my mate's house last night. So he's going to come and bring it round. Bet one of the kids will come with him. It's cold today. I feel really vulnerable without my defibrillator. I feel really vulnerable without it, actually. Yeah. Today is 30 years since I was discharged from Groby Road Hospital and since the first prescription I had of this medication. It used to come in a box identical to this except it had 3M Riker in the corner for my Wolf Parkinson White with atrial fibrillation. So I've been taking this for exactly 30 years now. I was given it IV the day before during my electrophysiological study. And what I'm going to do today, no, I'm going to do it another day because I don't really feel like doing it today while I'm having my breakfast. I don't feel like doing this actually. So I'm going to go through the possible interactions of this medication or just the fact that it's worked for me very well for 30 years but not perfectly and there are caveats to that and I'm going to discuss those in another video because it's quite complex <clears throat> and there's a little bit in common with this medication uh, with the controversial which probably shouldn't be so controversial hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin because it lengthens the QT interval it doesn't actually say that it lengthens the QT interval on here but anyway my defibrillator has been delivered now so I'm going bye <laughs>